Hello everybody, Darth Plebius here, and welcome to my first series. We're going to be playing Zeus, Master of Olympus. Uh, the way it's going to work out, uh, we're going to start with uh, the Peloponnesian War. I've never played this one uh, before. Uh, it's going to be five uh, episodes, um, and each episode will probably be a video. And we may do some more down the road. I don't know. I love this game. I've been playing it for a very long time. I was really excited to see that Steam got it now. So uh, here we go. And now we tell the story of the Peloponnesian War. Not so long ago. Get out of the way, you. Not so long ago, Sparta was the greatest city in the Peloponnese. Menelaus and his beautiful wife Helen ruled over all, and people were content. But then, Paris of Troy abducted Helen, and a great war broke out. Through cunning and strength, our soldiers won the war. But things weren't the same when Menelaus returned to Sparta. The city soon crumbled, and only a few ruins remain of what was once a glorious city. The time has come to establish a new Sparta, a new land. The new Sparta will rise in glory and power and one day eclipse the prestige of the old Sparta. All right, here we go. All right, so like I said, um, I've never played this one before, so I don't know what to expect or what's going to pop up. But just to start off with, going to pause it. Uh, you see these tabs on the right hand side. Uh, the first one is, of course, housing. Then you got, you know, your food. Uh, distribution or excuse me industry um, distribution and trade and uh, storehouses as well uh, hygiene safety so you got water uh, doctors uh, maintenance and uh, watchmen to keep unrest down this is kind of like a catch-all it's supposed to be administration but they got a bridge in there somehow I don't know uh, but your palace and your tax offices uh, culture mythology uh, military uh, beautification and then just an overview uh, so let's go ahead and take a look around so it looks like this purple here is going to be our uh, farmland got some more down there some hogs all right we will probably start building around here uh, and then use this farmland here to uh, begin this city. All right. So everybody kind of builds uh, their city, I guess, in their own kind of a way. Um, we'll start right here. Uh, I like to do one road down. I'm going to string of parks along it on both sides. There we go. And then uh, I'm going to still leave it paused because I like to kind of fill everything in before it starts. Um, uh, people start coming in because then they can get in the way and then they block stuff. So do sets of three uh, with a max of uh, three little collections of it. And that's just going to allow the vendors and stuff to get to where they need or get to get to get to everybody and not leave anybody uh, out so that way you can expand uh, as much as possible and it makes it a lot easier in the long run when you're trying to upgrade the houses as well I find all right our houses shoot Gotta unpause it real quick so that house will go away. Repause it. Do that one there. Skip you. And that should be good for now. Let people start moving in. Uh, these spaces that I've left open, we're gonna put some more stuff for beautification. Oops. Unpause it again. I'm very OCD. I like things to <laughs> match completely, which I know is kind of annoying at times, but whatever. As best as I can. Um, we'll build these down here like this. 
All right. So now we're going to go ahead and add in an infirmary. Uh, we'll do it there this time. Okay, how did I do that? So, one line with that. Go here. And then here. Come through here and block. Uh, these like this. Wait, no. I'm going to actually delete. These as well. I'm a mess. Alright. Pause it again. I'm like making more work for myself. It's ridiculous. Okay, so leave this one open. Fill that. Leave it open. Fill that. Leave it open. Fill that. Okay. Alright. Put in the maintenance office here. Uh, again. Getting rid of those. Put in fountains. And then we'll put in a maintenance office in these spots here. I'm going to go through here and block off these little roads like that. Open this back up. And then build this here, here, and there. Alright, that should work. Down here, this is where like the distribution is going to take place, or the, the agoras, which are right here, which are going to bring people food fleece oil uh which are what you need for like the basic town or basic houses uh but before that oh you know what yeah so we're gonna add in common here here and here and then we will add in another maintenance office and another fountain as well go ahead and expand this out we're going to put in some cultural aspects. We're going to do a college and a gymnasium. And then we're going to block this end here. Put a podium down here so they can reach it. And that should do it. Let's go ahead and start building some farms out over here to get some food in before people start to get pissed off and start walking the walking the streets and killing everybody we're gonna run straight across here and build some wheat farms two three four five six seven eight nine ten way more than we actually need but oh well So you're gonna delete that. All right, so that's about as far as that needs to go. We'll go across here. Delete these like this. If he goes down all the way, perfect. So we're gonna put him right here and right there with these here and then a maintenance office here. Connect these roads and block it. There we go. Now we got some food coming in. Perfect. 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 Uh, these spaces have been left open. Once I build a palace, uh, I'll be able to uh, start collecting taxes, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Let's see what our goals are for this. 800 people in a homestead are better. That shouldn't be too terribly hard, except for I'll have to, uh, I guess, buy fleece from someone. Let's see who orders or who sells fleece. So, no, no, uh, nope. 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 Alright, so Corinth sells fleece, so we can start buying some fleece from Corinth. And Olympia's not our. Okay, yeah, so. 
we will start getting that going. Let's just build it over here for right now. Oh, perfect. It's a trading post, so we'll actually add it. Um, along this road for right now and start buying fleece. So we can start upgrading these homes. Lovely. So we'll probably get attacked at some point, which is going to be a little annoying to deal with this early, but oh well. Build a palace real quick if it comes to that. Defend it with a bunch of towers, which should keep us fairly safe. At least initially. Oh, I built that off. Okay, so skip two, one, two, and then go straight down. There we go. Delete this. Lock this, and we're basically going to repeat the same pattern on this side. Build up park all the way down to here. And then homes. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Three. What did I do wrong? Oh, I did four there. Thank you. So uh, up here you'll see like kind of our, our treasury and what we're, what money we have to work with. We were in the negative, so our good old friend Corinth sent us some money so that we weren't overdrawn. Put in some flower gardens. Oops. Set some skins of fleece. That'll be helpful in a little bit. Oh, wow. A lot of fleece. That's awesome. Let's actually just make that accept only fleece, and you only accept fleece for right now. That's great. Then delete this. Delete that. I messed up again. No surprise there. And then pause it real quick. Build a fountain. Build a watch house. Build a watch house here. And another fountain there. And an ag agora there. Called those angoras for the longest time. Until I started playing again recently, and then I realized that I was absolutely wrong. <laughs> Build him there. Block that. Block that. Add in a podium. And a college and gymnasium. So the reason I have it set up like that is so this will force the philosophers to walk down the street to the podium. Uh, meaning these houses are constantly getting seen by philosophers. And then the gymnasium should be able to walk this far which will allow them to upgrade uh, fairly uh, all the way to the max. I don't think they'll need any other culture, cultural uh, uh, buildings. All right, so we are going to add in a line of hunting lodges. I need a lot of workers. Uh, I'll build another row of housing. It should help some. And then once the problem is is once my advice to you is if you find a good wife once the buildings start to upgrade we'll have a lot of unemployed which isn't too terrible um, but it, it can cause some issues. It's see if I can get this right this time. So we're going to go in here. Houses. 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 Uh, back to a flower garden. So we'll leave. Did I do it wrong already? I totally did. Why can't I get that? Wait. No, I didn't. I did it right. Okay. 
so we're in debt again, <laughs> which will happen pretty consistently through all of this. So there, and then there, there, and then there, and there. Build a flower. I actually need to go and read that because I don't know what it said, and if it's trade being suspended with Corinth, that's going to be a problem. Because I need their fleece. Build another maintenance office up here, and a fountain there. An hour of play in a year of conversation. Uh, get a gymnasium, and a, well since I already clicked on it, a podium. Locking that there, lock that there, an infirmary here, and a... College. There it is. Up here. Alright, so we need a crap ton of workers. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in this tab here, you can kind of con control where you're allocating your your uh, people to. So we're going to make culture absolutely no priority, which should help uh, the other businesses work uh, fairly uh, smoother. And... Um, Oh, we can actually start putting in the food vendors. Uh, and this will upload or up, help up. Well, it'll start to upgrade our houses and bring more people in, so we won't be uh, have a, a, a lot of needed workers. All right. So yeah, they should come right. Oh jeez, probably should have waited to do that. I don't know if I'm gonna have 31%, uh oh. All right, perfect, so they're starting to upgrade, which will have housing for 1,300 more people. Thank you for those. Uh, which will get rid of the, the issues that we're having with unemployment, or uh, uh, lack of workers. So we're definitely going to need these farms to speed up a little bit and get these full. We can probably put in a fleece vendor as well, but I want to build our palace before doing any of that. Which I'm thinking I may build the palace up here because it's uh, going to be a little bit tougher to get up to, which will allow us to defend it a little bit better, hopefully. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of that and see where it will fit put it here should work uh cancel that click out click back i kind of want to leave it like this actually uh right there fill that all around this may open us up to an attack, though. Hopefully it doesn't, because I'm not ready for all that. Build a wall. And a wall, so I can get some towers built. Gotta add in a maintenance office, or it will collapse, which will be counterproductive to why we're building, or since we're building it. Yeah, I don't have money to give you, so that's not gonna happen. Sorry, but I'm broke. All right, let's go ahead and build some tax offices so we can start to get some kind of a revenue coming in. We're only slightly, let's stop buying this because we can't afford it. <laughs> that might help. sell anything yeah I have money's money woes too thermopulae thermopulae I don't know how to pronounce it and uh, I looked down here a little while ago it was actually Athens that suspended trade with us so I'm, I'm not too upset by that 
will live. Let's go ahead. Ah, thank you, Athens. We're not broke anymore. So you know what? We can actually take that and give it to them. Which will keep them uh, happy with us. They'll think highly of us. Uh, we should have enough fleece where I can start to um, let's block this and build a oh cool a maintenance office here because I'm going to add in another set of uh, trading posts Athens. What can I give to Athens? I could sell wheat, which will bring in some money. Uh, let's do that. I don't have much, so I'll have to make another row of farms. That I will run down. One, two, three, one, two, three. Ooh. This way. There we go. That'll, that'll work. It is a ridiculous amount of farms, but we're doing it for money, doing it for money. And we have a lot of unemployed, so. Come back up here and I guess we'll build a road leading down from the palace to the main road. Build a road that goes around the palace as well, which will allow us to build and man towers along the wall, which will help protect it. And then we put one in the middle and one in the middle. And we're going to hit man, which should also help with the people who are unemployed. Alright, so this will probably get to be a little ridiculous, but it will allow us to sell some wheat, make some money. Let's see what else we can... Oh, wrong one. Let's see what else we can export. So wheat, fleece, sculpture. Sorry, that's my phone. Put that on silent. Uh, wheat, fleece, armor, sculpture, olive oil, and wine. Can I, oh, I can make an armory. So what I could do is buy some bronze, turn it into armor, and then sell it and make some profit. And Or I could do a sculpture, actually. That'd make me a crap ton of money. Um, let's go ahead and build a fleece vendor, which I may regret, but hopefully not. Why did? Who am I, Odysseus? How much longer do I have to travel before it's I reach my right destination? It's right there. And where's Calypso? Dramatic. Let's check to see if we've got any hazards or anything going on. He's about to get seen, so I'm not worried about that. These will get seen. Nah, we're good. All right. Sparta there we go. So that would be the first episode. Before we can attain that height, uh, we must first we... acquire some resources that are. Let's take a look at what the next one is going to be. Are to build a mighty army, Sanctuary to Ares. Must have some we Olympia. We don't seem to have any here in Sparta, but word is that puny city Olympia makes it. We haven't had any fun in so long. Let's go take over Olympia and Ares get their own. Maybe Olympia. We can probably get All right, blah, 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 blah. So basically, we have to conquer Olympia and then start buying all the Done and done. Which means we're probably going to get opened up for attacks pretty soon. Where's Olympia? Yeah. 
All right, that shouldn't be too terribly hard. All right. So these should start to upgrade. Nicely, what do we need? Olive oil, yep. And that means, yeah, so, huh. I wonder how they expect me to conquer <laughs> conquer a city, but I don't have. So these are the basic houses, and then they open up the uh, I guess like the the wealthy housing, uh, and those become your like your your foot soldiers and your uh, horsemen. Right now, the basic housing just gives you like a defensive unit, like the rabble, which are these guys right here, and they just throw rocks, but you can't send them to war. I don't think. I think. Yeah, no. You have to either have the the horsemen or the what is it, the phalanx, phalanx of the hoplite, uh, the, the spearmen, uh, to send. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to build the sanctuary to Ares. You get two sets of foot soldiers with him and then hopefully I can get our allies to go to war with us and help me conquer him. Uh, dreams. So we're going to go ahead and start selling this wheat because we should have way too much of it. It should be fantastic. It should start bringing in some money. It means I'm also going to have to start buying marble. Damn. It's going to suck. It's going to get expensive quick. What do you sell? Buy bronze. Oh, we'll sell some wheat there too. And yeah, we're about to get attacked. So, you know what? Um, I'm probably going to end this episode fairly soon. What I'll do is me, wait till we get attacked, see how it goes, the and then we shall call it an episode. But we got some time. Alright, my worry is that in selling the wheat, we'll starve our own residents, which will be not good. Start buying fleece again. Making 20, I guess we'll just say dollars. 20, 20 dollars in profit there. Alright. So 19%. How's our... We are severely unemployed, which is going to be bad because it's going to end up uh, messing with our unrest and cause people to kind of rebel against us, which is not going to be good. So I'm going to have to start buying bronze. Yeah, I'm going to have to start buying bronze and then um, building some sculptures. Uh, maybe selling a few and then uh, build that sanctuary to Ares the next episode for sure. Does anybody else sell more uh, bronze? Selling, selling, buying, buying, no. Damn. All right, well, we'll just leave him up and running and... Oh, I definitely don't need a maintenance office. That would be a little overkill. Let's go up here and kind of sure up our defenses. Um, make him have to work to kill us. Do another gatehouse, which is gonna be. Ooh, we need that, so let's pause and build a storehouse. Try to determine where we're gonna build that. Probably build it. Aries. Maybe over here. Let's rotate. Maybe we can build it on this island. We could. That would be nice. Maybe here. No, I would want it like that. Or here. No, we'll put it up here. So, let's go ahead and build a road that comes up behind these buildings. And we'll cut across to our storehouse over here. Where we'll store the marble that we're about to get. 
That's fantastic. That's going to be really helpful. There we go. All right. And then we got to build a maintenance house. And we can continue. I said marble, right? Yeah, marble. All right. So let's go back to uh, building some more defenses. Oh, it'll actually fit. Perfect. So we'll go rotate. We'll do another gatehouse here. Build some more walls. I don't think that's going to suck because we're only going to have like one wall there. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Except the marble. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. It doesn't fit there. Oh, well. It's fine. They won't even know. They won't walk that far, right? <laughs> okay. So, ooh. put up some more towers. So we're going to go ahead and I could bribe them, but I don't want to. So we're going to fight to defend the city. And let's go see where they popped up. Uh, oop, wrong one. Ah, perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Sometimes, but usually with my luck, they end up popping up like over here and then they run through my whole city and destroy everything that I built. Uh, and then I have to rebuild it and it pisses me off. Alright, so this shouldn't be too, 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 too tough to... That's weird. I don't think that's supposed to go like that. So we're gonna go... At... <laughs> right, I'm in the middle of an attack and I'm like worried about how the streets look. I want to make sure that they can get up to the to the castle. Let's pause it real quick and be a little cheaty. Add in <laughs> some more towers. Why not? These here, these here, and then here, and then a road along there. A tower, a tower, a tower. Let's rotate the world real quick, see if I can get a tower back here. No. Oh well. Alright, and pause. Unpause, I guess. Still have a ridiculous amount of unemployed. Alright, fingers crossed this works. Yay! Well, that was easy. Killed two people and they ran. Get out! Get out of here! Get out! Don't touch any of my... Oh, please don't destroy my stuff. Let's pause. <laughs> Get a wide number of these guys. I'm going to... Pause that real quick. Sorry, we're getting Gift of Bronze and I don't want to lose it. So, oh, I need to build it anyway. Uh, accept Bronze and accept Bronze. Okay, continue. Fight away, kill people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, the only reason I did that is because I didn't want them to destroy any of my towns because I don't want to have to, to rebuild it. <laughs> All right, so we survived our first attack. Fantastic. Uh, we've got a lot of gifts coming in. We got a lot of bronze and quite a bit of um, shit. 
empty, accept, and only accept face. Okay. So we've got uh, I am the god of war. Ares coming to visit us. Okay, so we got bronze coming in. We've got marble set over here. We're going to have to start buying more marble. So next episode, we're going to have to build uh, the Ares Fortress. Oh, God, they're attacking us again. Didn't they learn? Uh, build the Ares Fortress here. Um, get some more trade going. Maybe start making some sculpture with the bronze that we're bringing in so we can sell that and make more money off of it. Um, and then conquer the fools who are sending another invasion. Uh, the crappy thing is, is as these invasions, the more they happen, the stronger they get. So they might actually break through a couple of the walls the next time, and the time after that they might get further in, so we might actually have to start using some of the rabble. Um, but... Thank you all for joining, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a learning experience. Uh, uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy it, and you keep coming back, you keep watching, and uh, we'll be able to grow together. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow.